Div и Шилоп Елоп и Мараш с Ремембр и Шудыр Друды Медеверб Аласанч Мяни и Змеи So, yeah, <laughs> I just made, <laughs> my idea was just to start my vlog this time with some creative stuff and I just tried to read a book backward <laughs> and it's kind of fun that you realize some words, it, it sounds so funny and you, you found some new meanings of new words and yeah, so <laughs> back in, let's back to the game development process and this time I will, I will try to explain what else I have done this week for my Fisher Cat <laughs> Fisher Cat game and yeah let's see I started that week from uh, the new model not really new but I just uh, understood that the, the, the woman the cat woman actually not really completed and I just made a new one with the new technical issues so yeah, uh, I resize it and make it much more close to the Fisher cat male character and prepare it for uh, animation. My workflow right now is like that, I just put everything in Mixamo just to test everything and after that I, I just realized that textures actually not really compared with the ones which I have made for a male character and then I just redraw everything in Blender and uh, yeah, I really, really like to draw textures in Blender and most common for me is to use a uh, simple uh, standard brushes from from the blender. I use it, it uh, all the time. It, it's really nice to to work with it because it's a it's a pretty uh, cool to have uh, these smoothing things. If you will just make the brush bigger and uh, if you want to have a more sharpened brush strokes you just uh, switch uh, to the smaller size of brush and it worked well for, for me. Also here is a line tool for make a straight lines and I like it so much. I, I really want to have something like that in Photoshop but most of the guys who work in Photoshop just use a shift button for that and yeah but in Blender it works much well for me. Darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling, you send me, I know you send me, darling. I, I just make everything with the more retro style but the texturing issue was the same I just used the blender, I just using the 3D Max for modeling and everything as it was before so yeah, here is the process of that Darling, you 
At last I made the tail works much more smoothly. I just put an animation on that. And I'm really enjoying doing that. So yeah, right now the tail actually moved as it should be.